I heard someone say that that science communicated to other scientists only is useless and maybe that's going too far. How do we communicate it to the public or to the stakeholders? Well, we've done it by targeting clinicians as a, as a mediator, I guess. Um, we, we inform clinicians as best we can. We push data to them via social media, via web blogs, uh, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and we rely on them to communicate to the general public. And they get great access to the general public because they see them as patients. Uh, so we've taken that strategy. I don't think it's the only strategy. Uh, and if your contributions in those web and social media spaces are accessible enough, general public, find them. One thing that gets me is this uh, presumption that if you're communicating science, you have to be boring. Whereas all the data tell us, entertain. So why don't we try to entertain while we get the, the information across? And I guess the, the general rules of, of thumb are that we, we need to use words that people are familiar with. We have to avoid jargon. Something I learned, a number of even papers that I wrote that had Simon Gandevia writing jargon on it. And I really learned that, and I think we just have to apply that more ruthlessly when we're talking to patients or talking to members of the public.